So, in this video, we will be programming our second operation. That is, if I look in my process line here, a groove and a center drill. So it's going to be the groove diameter 7, and then the center drill for the next operations, drilling of diameter 4, and then drilling of diameter 5 for the M6 tab. So let's go back now to our programming of the second operation. First, I want to check my speed. I can see on position two, I still have my default uh, value of 2000 RPM. So I will change it to 4900, which is an average speed for both operations. Okay, with that, and now I want to check my tool offset. So if I check here on the scroll down list, the 1201, I open it, it's a back turner. I want to change it to an in-fit tool that will allow me to use both corners into my geometries. So I say, OK, and I come back in the list and I choose the first line, which allows me to create a new tool. So here I type my tool geometry, 12010, and then I select turning outside, and then I, here I take in-fit tool. OK. You want to create a new one? Yes. So here I type my X geometry. Here my, uh oh, I made a mistake here. This is what happened. Yes, of course. So I correct and I do my minus 50 millimeter, which is the standard geometry for the first corner. Now into this one, I will input the geometry of the second corner which is this one by doing so also i will automatically update the width of the tool so my tool is two millimeter wide let's say so here i will do minus 52 and when i click further it automatically updates the width i will put it a 0.1 corner radius on both corners and then my quadrants obviously it's q3 for the front and for the back, this one is enough, is the Q4. So I am done with my infit tool geometry. I say OK. And now I can go about the rapid approach. I have the standard value of plus one millimeter for the rapid traverse positioning. And I want to already place myself in the middle of my part. So let's say minus 7.2 in Z. OK. And now let's go about the programming of the grooving. I double click. And here I did already type my ISO code to make it easy for you. If you want to recopy this, you simply can pause the video while you type the ISO code as they are here and then continue. So here let's put a comment of what we are doing. And then we choose an icon that is related to the operation, for example, this one. And it's done with that. Now, if I want to see the tool line of this ISO code, I save it, I generate, And I come back to this operation. I double click and here I can see view outline, which is going to show me the tool pass. Looks like what I want. So let's follow from the graphic and the ISO codes here. The blue line is what it's doing during the block that is highlighted. So I move next. So I do a first draft, move out, move in Z, second draft, move out, move in Z, third drafting. Then I go back to the beginning of the groove. And then I use the second, the back corner again of my tool. I take the radius compensation. 
I place myself in the beginning of the radius. I do the radius. And here I wrote between parentheses a comment. You could use the alternative uh, to the circular interpolation being an automatic uh, rounding uh, function, G26. You can use uh, both of them if you want to try. You put this one between brackets and then you remove the bracket on this one and it's going to take this value up to you. Then I finish the bottom of the groove. I go out the other side. As you noticed, I went back to my front geometry with the D0. And then I do the exit chamfer and I come out. This is it for the grooving. So you have plenty of time to look uh, at it uh, for yourself by pausing the video. So here I validate. I come back to my OL display. And now I want to check the tool change. Since I am moving from the turning tool to the center drill, I double click and here I see 1221. Okay. It's the center drill and I have a rapid positioning of Z12 equal 1 and X12 equal 0. I am already in the center of my part, which is good. I stay with the same speed. And now let's program the spotting. I choose, let's say, this icon. And here, instead of machining, I say center drill for M6 top, for example. And now let's program the centering operation itself. So I am already at plus one from the rapid traverse positioning. I can directly start G1, Z minus, let's say 2.5 millimeter at a feed of 0 0.05. We want a nice center drill, right? And then I can move out. It's done already. I move out of Z plus three millimeter. So it's done. Our turning of the groove, the centering. So I validate. I generate everything just to make sure I have no alarm. Looks good. Don't forget to save by clicking on this icon. And we are ready to move to our third position programming in the next video.